Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Yesterday we talked about Joseph and his brothers, how he treated them, how they treated him. Joseph was a type of Christ, so today I want to talk about Jesus and his brothers, his family. And it is a sad thing. Jesus said a man's enemies will be those of his own household. Jesus was speaking from experience, because that's exactly how it was for the Lord. Some of, some of his enemies were those of his own household. I want to look at, a, I want to consider some, a few scriptures and just think about what, how, how his family treated him. It says in John 7 at verse 5 that his brothers did not believe him. They did not believe in him. Uh, he was teaching so many people and so many people were believing, but not his brothers. It, what, what a sad thing that they did not believe him. In another place, in Mark 3 verse 21, his family, they thought that he was beside himself. Here he is, and he's the light of the world, but his own family's not recognizing that fact. They think that he is certifiably insane. They think that he's nuts. What a horrible thing. They didn't believe him. They thought he was crazy. I almost wonder if they weren't buying into some of the rumors that were floating around about him. One of the rumors was that he was illegitimate. I think scripture, I think you can make that inference from scripture that some people thought he was illegitimate because of what had happened concerning his birth. We'll ask this question. Do you think that his younger brothers and younger sisters, do you think that they truly believed in the virgin birth? Now Mary did, but, but what about those younger brothers and sisters? Do you think they believed it? Not too sure. But another rumor that was going around about Jesus was that he was possessed by a demon. I wonder if those rumors weren't, weren't getting into weren't affecting his family and how they thought about him. But for me, one of the saddest scriptures concerning his family is found in Matthew. In Matthew chapter 13, it's, it's on the Sabbath. Jesus is in the synagogue, and the, the location is Nazareth. He's at home. He gets up. He reads from the book of Isaiah. And, and as he sits down, and they were offended, verse 57, those in the synagogue were offended at him. But Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor except in his own country and in his own house. And I want to key, on that, key in on that last part. A prophet is not without honor except in his own house. The word honor, it means to value. His own house, his own family, that's what he's talking about. His own family did not value him. They dishonored the honorable. That's what his own family was doing. And I would suggest they were there in the synagogue because those people in the synagogue, what do they say? Look up at verse 55 and verse 56. As they, they talk about Mary and they talk about his brothers, James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas, and his sisters, and they say, are they not all with us? They were, they were there, they should have been, and I think they were there in the synagogue, there in Nazareth on the Sabbath. And they are included in those who were offended at him because Jesus says that a prophet is not without honor except in his own home. They were there. You might think about what happened in Nazareth right after this. They take him out to the city limits and they try to kill him. His own family saw that. They saw what had happened. It says at verse 58, it says, Now he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. He could not help them. He could not heal them. He could not do many mighty works because of their own hard heads and hard, hard hearts. And that's how it is with family, very often. Hope you enjoyed this study. God bless you. Hope to see you tomorrow.